hi everyone so uh, we're back in Rosie's um, bedroom so this wallpaper I got um, I just printed it, it's just printed onto normal paper and glued on from the computer it's just a picture I found because I was you know looking for blue something that I wanted to get and I wanted to make it a little bit more dramatic for her so there's the daughter that goes to the bathroom on the back of the door she's got a scarf hanging up there um, somebody painted me this, um, I think they're called it Inchies. I was in a club and um, we used to send each other ATCs and Inchies. And somebody drew that one for me. So I put it in the doll's house. Um, it's got lights up here. These don't work for some reason. So Grumpy is an electrician, so he's going to have to have a look at those. So those are the nice ceiling lights. So these aren't um, battery operated. These are, um, they got the wire that goes up through the ceiling, so they're electric. And this is the same picture that I have above my, above my Grumpy's bed. So um, I just printed it out, painted the frame gold to put in Rosie's room. And this is a lovely beige bit of carpet. And I love the stairs, how it comes up there. I mean, that's kind of like in our attic. The stairs go up like that um, to a room where people can sleep. Okay, so I'm going to put these things back into Rosie's room first. So these were things that um, units that I bought, and they were the brown colour. Um, well, I didn't want the brown for Rosie's bedroom. Um, I really liked the gold effect because I'd bought a, a gold antique looking bed for her. So I just painted it with gold paint. Um, and added bits these are all glued on these bits on the top so she's got necklaces hanging down she's got a flower there you see the perfume she's got Yves Saint Laurent because I actually like that one so that's there she's got some face creams and things she's got um, little makeup -y bits nail varnishes and you can't open the wardrobe door because I've glued it but there are, there are bits in there so it looks like it's used got this little word on there that says dream which is lovely isn't it for um this room and that is rosie's photo with her doggy at actually just a little something in there to hide that then this is her bedside table so she's got bits and bobs and things beside her bed I think this is her bedside table hmm, I'm not sure we'll see she's got um, a few sorry got a few books in there and I think the drawer opens So she's got some bits in there. And these things up here I painted with metallic silver paint. And then just added this on. So these were like charmy bits and you just can cut off the bit for it. The, these are like for jewellery, you know, you can add a thing onto it and make a necklace, that kind of thing. And then this one might be the one that goes beside her bed and she's moving her. She's missing a necklace off the top of it. There it is. Oh. So there we are. So this might be the one that goes beside her bed. Beside her bed, I can't remember. Yes, I think it is. She, uh, yeah, her radio is meant to be on here. So I love the shape. I love the shape of the feet on this one. Um, which is why... I chose it and the drawer does open. <gasps> What's inside? Chocolate! My favourite and a pair of scissors. What book she's reading? Fifty Shades of Grey. Wow, she lives in. Back up now. 
and so because these bits are all glued on it's easy to maneuver oh easy to maneuver so that goes there and I think this one goes next to it. I think that's how I remember it going. Yeah. So next I'm going to do what goes on this wall. I'll show you that. Okay, so this is kind of her display cabinet for her bedroom. I didn't want to do this in gold because I just wanted to add a sh little shabby chic feature. Um, <clears throat> So it was a display, like a display cabinet, so I just took the doors off, sanded it down and then just painted it. So it's like a pale blue. Um, this is a miniature, part of my miniature Peter Rabbit set. It was really, really expensive, but I absolutely adore it. And each bit is sanding on like, a, they're like just findings for jewellery. So there's a little teapot, a little plate little uh, milk, creamer, sugar, and a little cup and saucer. How adorable is that? I got that at a special, at a fair, like an antique fair. Um, and then the next shelf has the swan with flower in it. It's kind of, that's a vintage kind of style. She loves robins. Uh, so she's got a robin on a plaque there. Um, I don't know that we might add something else to that. None of these are um, stuck down because I'm still like try. I'm still kind of like deciding. Oh, <laughs> and you know sometimes you have to because things are so small. You have to use a pair of tweezers to get them in and get them in the right <laughs> spot. Especially, especially me with a clumsy wobbly hands. Anyway, so there's Jemima Puddle Duck, little Jemima Puddle Duck ornament as well. And on the bottom shelf, she's got a lovely bunch of flowers that she had when she moved in. Behind it is a little sign that says love and then she's got a little angel there at the bottom and I put in just a little piece of paper there at the bottom. So I'm not going to put it up there with you. I'll put it up there now, switch off, you'll, you'll see it in situ because it'll probably fall. Okay, so there it is in situ. Looks really good, doesn't it? And you see the flowers that are around the banister there. This is a, a banister here. Um, I've got them in my attic room as well. <laughs> Those sort of things around the banister. So that's looking really good. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next couple of things. She keeps her iron up in her bedroom. And she has this little lady here that she hangs stuff on sometimes. She has a clothes horse as well, where she has to keep her ironing. Because of course, you know, she she has to make a lot of use of her space because downstairs is all the tea room. Okay, so these are in situ now. I mean, she can fold this down and pack it away, just push it to one side. But look, she's got a little Radley bag on there cute little handbag, two towels, look at that airing, she's doing a bit of ironing already and there's her thing with her cardigan on over there on the back wall, so it's looking great isn't it so far, right let's get the bed in, so I'm just going to clear off the bed, here's the bed, okay so here's the bed um, I actually painted it gold, um, I remember now, it was a white bed frame, so I painted it gold, and the bedding, I actually made the bedding out of old hankies, so I picked up some hankies that were really, really cheap when I went to a vintage fair, and I just cut them down because it, the older hankies had a lovely little trim that around, which is kind of like in the, kind of like, I don't want the bed to be perfect, you know, people don't always have perfect beds. So, um, and I made the bedspread, and the bedspread can go down, or, you know, if you want to make it look like she's getting up, you just, like, kind of, like, fold it over. And we've got a little pillow. There's a little pillow. And she likes her dollies. This is a rag doll that she's had for years. There's her Bible. She's got a little teddy bear, 
go in bed. I know she's a grown woman, hey, but she loves it. So that's a little dot off of one of the things. And she's been to because she's a uh, she makes wedding cakes and that. She's been to a few weddings, so she's been given these as thank yous at wedding. So she hangs them on the bottom of her bed. Um, posts. So that's the bed. So I'm going to put the bed in now. And I found a radio, and a radio is actually meant to go on the top of here. So this one is the one that goes by by her bed. Okay, so here's the bed in situ. I've kind of made it look like she's just kind of got up. So looks really good. Looks really, really good. I love it. You see the skirting and all that. I had to cut all of that and paint it as well. So it looks really, really good. Um, I didn't do any finishing at the tops here. The rooms, the next room down, I did kind of, I don't know why. I kind of think it was because it was an attic room. I just thought I'd left the top. I didn't add, a, add any coving. But if I give you like an angle view, that is it now. How wonderful to come up those stairs and see that lovely bedroom. Hey, that is all yours. Oh look, now I've tidied it up. Rosie's come just to make the bed. <laughs> Thanks for that, Rosie. You're gonna make the bed, are you? Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna think about getting dressed. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to it.